instructional video, we're going to go over all the operations of this 4.2 metre pod. Just inside the door is the master control panel for the leg operation. This is the master control switch. All of these switches here are separate ones for the legs. The remote here operates all four legs at once. Please ensure that all legs are touching the ground simultaneously. They can never have one off the ground and you need a firm pad under the leg and it needs to be on level and firm ground. The two leads coming out of the front bottom of the 4.2 metre pod are for your tail lights, a seven pin plug and your Anderson plug for charging the battery system. It's a two way door on this unit, like on your caravans, open it up, clicks into place, grab that latch, that's your fly wire, that slides across to bug proof it. Next to the door is your gas storage compartment for a nine kilogram bottle. In here is a gas shut off valve and also your regulator. Next to it is your gas bayonet for a barbecue. This is the back quarter of the motorhome module. In this compartment is your steps and handrail. Here is a bracket you will need to attach to the side of your tray directly under where the door is. It'll be attached here and the hardware to fix it to your tray is supplied. The handrail also comes with two points, one that needs to be attached about there. I always find if you put it on an angle, it's easier to slide in and one that'll attach about there. Same again, put it on an angle or it will be hard to fit. Here's your two bike bike rack, just simply pull it up, drop it down. That's obviously the clasp for the rear bike, that's the clasp for the front bike. The load rating for this bike rack is written inside the channels. If you have e-bikes you'll more than likely have to take the battery out. Here's the license plate holder and your indicators, interim lights, reversing lights etc and you'll notice down the side there is running lights as well. They all run off the 7 pin plug at the front. Here's your 15 amp inlet. We also supply you with power adapter from a 10 amp plug. And we also supply you with the 15 amp surge protector. You must use both of these, or we will know when the electrical equipment has blown up from a surge and you haven't been using these two items. We also supply with your 15 amp lead. Here is your Truma hot water cover. Whenever you're operating the gas electric hot water system, this cover must be removed or you will melt it piece of advice to put a grub screw in the top of this because people steal these, they're worth $180, that piece of plastic. Moving on down the unit, here we have your mains water pressure inlet. Here is an external shower point, tap, shower rose. Again, here is your grey water for the kitchen. Whenever you're using the sink, you must have that open or you will flood the kitchen. We supply you with the grey water hose, which just simply pushes in. Here at the end, we have your toilet canister. Simply press the buttons, open it up, lift the orange lever, pull it out, swish it around and tip it out. Just above the toilet cassette is your water filler. We have two tanks in this unit, a smaller one in this wall and then a large one under the kitchen bench with a capacity of about 200 litres. Fill it slowly because it overflows from this small tank into the larger tank. Also, do not overfill it because both tanks have breather hoses and the breather hoses go into the unit. So once it's full, turn it off. Now I'm just gonna go over the tie down points. Here's your tie down points. There's three of them on either side, one either end and one in the middle. We supply you with load rated turnbuckles, load rated D shackles and load rated chain. The load rated hardware has to be used in each corner. In the middle, does not have to be load rated, but taut again. Please ensure whenever you take off from any destination that they're firm and tight. Up here we have your main power board. There's the main 12 volt breaker. And then along here we have all your circuits for the LED lighting, fridge, water heater, USB, power outlet points, water pump, TV, kitchen, which is your range hood, etc. And then I'll work our way around. Here's our battery indicator telling us the volts. Green is good, orange is warning, red is definitely charge. Our two water tank indicators, then here's the operation of the bed. 
you have to double click it. And then you'll double click it again to go up. Just above that is the hot water service unit controller. Middle of the switch is off. Up is for 60 degrees, down is for 70 degrees. With the hot water heater, if you want to run it on gas, you turn the gas cock on under the seat and you turn the 240 volt off. Vice versa, when you want to run it off 240, you turn the gas cock off and turn the 240 volt switch on. Just above this, we have the inverter switch, inverter charger. We always like to leave it in the up position because it'll charge whenever it's on shore power. Middle is off, down is off power saving. Next to that is your solar controller telling you what's going on with your solar. There are instructions for every piece of hardware in this unit. But if you can't find it, we do have it all available via email. Under the sink is the 240 volt safety breaker, your RCD. If something won't run on 240, check that has not tripped. In the 4.2 module, we have three safety alarms. We have your CO2 alarm, and then up top we have your smoke alarm, and then under the table we have a LPG gas alarm. The fire extinguisher is located under the leg master controller and we also supply you with a fire blanket which you should fix wherever you feel comfortable around the unit. This bed drops, the table drops to form another bed. You just simply latch the lever, push it down. Then the two inserts fill in this part to form another queen size bed. This is your kitchen area. You have your four burner gas cooktop, sink, hot and cold water, there's a range hood above the cooktop and also while cooking we ask that you open the roof hatch for ventilation please. The operation of the roof hatch, this opens it up and down, then we have light switch and then the operation of the fan, it pushes and pulls, one way is that's pulling the air out, that's pushing the air in. When you take delivery of your motorhome module you'll notice the TV is not fixed to the wall unit because we don't like to have it on the wall during traveling and you should take it off yourself. We also supply you with the steps to hop in and out of the bed. You simply pull up in the ends, goes the hooks, simply lift up the mattress. There you go, you're ready to go to bed. Just next to the bed in the kitchen, all the overhead cupboards, just simply latch it from the middle. Also, all your windows is down for a flywire, up for a blind. Under that side of the U-shaped lounge is your Truma hot water service unit. And on the other far corner is the inverter charger. They all accessible from here. You just have to pull the seat cushions off. Here is a lot of electrical features, power points, AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, DVD player, etc which will be USB and Bluetooth capable for the speakers, TV, etc. They're all hooked in together. More charging points, USB and cigarette lighter point. That's for an external aerial. If you want to fit it to the roof, we've pre-wired it. This switches all your external lighting, internal lighting, or internal lighting. Every appliance that's 240 volt, being your fridge, microwave, hot water service, etc., run off the 240 volt or the inverter. The only thing that will not run off the inverter is the air conditioner. We wire that whole in solely for shore power. We're in the bathroom. Whenever you're traveling with the pot on the back of your vehicle, you have to latch this door in place in that position. There is a latch at the rear of here. Make sure it's firm and cannot move. Under the hand basin, you'll find some plumbing and that is where your water pump is located. And this is why you need to open the gray water valve because all the plumbing allows air into it and if you flood that up the point that's going to come out is here which will then flood the bathroom or flood the kitchen. Be mindful when you're having a shower the drainage on these units is very small it takes a while to drain. Regarding the other appliances like washing machine, toilet, refrigerator, microwave etc you are supplied with manuals or if you cannot locate it I can send one to you electronically. The manual awning has an LED strip under it it's like any Fiamma style awning Simply pull down the legs and you can either throw them in the latches here 
tighten it up. Or when it's really windy, pull it out. And there's pegs supplied and peg it to the ground.